So let's talk about Texas. Arizona, another state where we are seeing movement toward the purple. In Texas, obviously, that's been at the top of Democrats' list. The reason that you were target number one is because they saw that as indicator that they could finally turn this kind of deep red state blue. Do you think that Texas is moving in the direction of the blue? It looks right now like yeah. a lot of folks are moving into Austin, a lot of folks moving into to urban areas that are much more to the left. Uh, the, voting, the voting records tend to show right. more Democratic turnout. Is Texas in danger of turning purple? Absolutely. Uh, I think Texas is a battleground. And, you know, there are two broad, there are a lot of different movements going on, but two broad political movements that are cross-cutting. One thing we're seeing in recent years is working class voters are moving right. That's making states like Midwestern states trend more Republican. What we're also seeing, however, is suburban voters, in particular suburban women, are trending left. That means states with big suburban populations, states like Texas, states like Georgia, states like Arizona, are trending left. They're becoming more purple. You know, Texas, people think of Texas as a, as a rural state, you know, sort of the cowboy ethos, but we're one of the most urban and suburban states in the entire country. Three of the 10 biggest cities in America are in the state of Texas, and four of the 11 biggest cities in Texas, are in the country are in Texas. Uh, in Texas, between Houston, Dallas, Fort Worth, Austin, and San Antonio, over two thirds of the voters in the state of Texas are in those, those four major metro areas. We have massive suburban populations. Basically, the way the Texas voting typically works is you have the cities, which have been democratic for a while, the core of the cities, and then you've had these bright red donuts around the cities that have been suburban Republicans. That's what's kept Texas solidly Republican. But what happened in 2018 is those bright red donuts became purple as suburban voters moved heavily left. By the way, that's what decimated the congressional Republicans in, in California. California has a lot of suburban voters as well, places like Orange County that used to be very Republican and they moved significantly to the left. If we're going to stay competitive, we've got to be reaching those suburban moms and making the case why these policies matter, why, why socialism and open borders, uh, why that is bad for, for suburban moms, why that's bad for your kids, why that's bad for your future. The media doesn't want any of those messages to get across. And, and, and so that means it's our job and, and we've got to do it in ways that get around the gatekeepers, because the gatekeepers, they're not pretending to be Walter Cronkite anymore. They are full on partisans. They will put on their hat and they will cheer for whatever leftist wins the Democratic nomination. And they will do everything they can to collate the information and, and to pitch a propaganda war. For those of us who value freedom, we've got to counteract that.